Congressman Schiff, a uh, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, President Obama uh, had said uh, in an interview with ABC News that ISIS has been, quote, contained in Iraq and Syria, contained, and is not gaining strength. How can the president say that, considering the fact that we see ISIS expanding in Egypt and now maybe even in Lebanon? Well, I think the president was probably referring to the stalemated uh, battlefield within Iraq and Syria. Uh, ISIS isn't really, for the most part, uh, broadening its reach there. It's not capturing the major cities. Uh, you do see this uh, dynamic where uh, the Peshmerga will uh, capture uh, Sinjar back, and yet ISIS uh, in Syria may capture a few small towns. Uh, frankly, they were given a boost by the Russians going in and bombing some of the other forces. That gave them leeway. But nonetheless, not much movement. They are largely contained within that battlefield. But certainly outside of Iraq and Syria, they're not the least bit contained. Uh, we see their growth in places like Afghanistan. Uh, we have deep worries about Libya, where if we're not careful, you could see ISIS controlling a large part of territory sometime down the road. Uh, so Egypt and the Sinai, as you point out, uh, the bombing uh, in Beirut, uh, they're very much uh, growing and continue to re recruit people around the world. So contained, except for where they're not contained. But, but let's move on to, to the uh, new coalition campaign, the airstrikes against the ISIS-controlled oil fields in Syria. Why now? Why do that now? I think the administration has been uh, wanting to take more aggressive action to go against ISIS finances. Uh, the challenge here is that you only have so many targets uh, without the risk of civilian casualties. We could decimate uh, pretty much all of the oil revenues if we wanted to, but that would require not only going after these massive facilities, but going after the distribution network of these small trucks uh, that they use to transport fuel. Uh, and there is a real risk of, uh, of civilian casualties. So uh, this may be a greater willingness to risk that, uh, to cut off these finances, an appreciation of the fact that because the battlefield there is stalemated, they have to do something to break that stalemate. If, uh, assuming that the, the Kurdish hold on Sinjar uh, remains, and there isn't some big ISIS counterattack in the next few days, um, is the U.S. and are the Kurds preparing to launch a campaign to retake Mosul? I don't think that's going on now, and I, and I don't think it's within the capacity of the Peshmerga as well trained as they are to go and take Mosul. Uh, the big challenge there is uh, who's going to hold the place. Uh, and here, uh, it's not uh, sufficient to have either Peshmerga forces or American forces go into Mosul. You need Sunnis who are willing to hold on to Mosul. Uh, and the Sunnis right now are, are faced with an awful choice of being part of ISIS or being part of a what they consider to be a Tehran-led Shia government out of Baghdad. We have to uh, work with the Iraqis to give them another alternative. The Iraqis have not been willing to do that. And until they do, I think taking Missoula is going to be impossible. Congressman Adam Schiff, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate Thanks, it.